I thought we were having brunch. Was that today? They'll give up. Probably just some kids selling magazines. It's two guys in suits. Salesman, don't answer the door. Hello. So sorry to bother you, man. Just don't let them in. Yes, come on in. Calvin James Whiteman? What? This is your fortunate day. My name's Mr. Ted, and this is my associate vendors. And we're here on a special mission from the government of the US of A. Just bear with us for a minute while we set up. Vendors, hop to it. What? How do I know you're really from the government? How does the government really know you're not a terrorist? Gotcha! <laughs> That's a little joke we like to use in the trade. Vendors, now. This is about hard water, isn't it? The Reynolds next door have hard water, and Steve's getting them a water softener. Terry, hard water's a myth. Calvin, my good man, the things I could tell you about your water, but that's not why we're here today. No, sir. We're here on behalf of the U.S. Treasury, and we're looking for a deposit. Look, I pay my taxes every year. If you guys run out of money, this isn't my problem. You'd be surprised how often we get that. I'll bet you don't know the half of what goes on over at Treasury. We better be up and running. Where's my pointy stick? You lost my good pointy stick? Damn it, boy. Pardon my French, ma'am. Do you happen to have anything? May I? Lights. Projector. Spot. First slide. This, my friends, is Calvin's spleen. Yuck. Hard to look at, isn't it? So what, it's just a spleen. Oh, aren't we cavalier, Mr. Whiteman? Aren't we so self-satisfied? Slide. And here we have poor Mr. Chantrell. Just some old coot. Calvin. Yes, my friends, take a long, hard gander at this man. Get your eyes full of him, because he won't be with us much longer. Oh, cancer. It's terrible. If only it were that simple, Mrs. Whiteman. But it only gets worse. Slide. Think of the children. Think of their pain. All right, what am I looking at now? Slide. This poor old man, Calvin. This treasure of the nation. This innocent, beloved of children. Why are you killing him? Huh? I asked you a question, sir. Now, are you man enough to answer it? I don't think I like you how you're- You serve in the military? No, he hasn't. So the life of your fellow man, Calvin, it's not worth that much to you, is it? No, I mean, yes, it is. Then why are you killing poor Mr. Chantrell? I haven't done anything. Oh no? Slide. Where'd you get that? I think it's from our wedding. Tell me, Cal. When's the last time you used your spleen? Uh... You can't. I'll bet you don't even know what it does, do you? No, he doesn't. No, I know there's blood. Oh, there's blood all right. Blood on your hands, slide. A man breaks his back for his country, spends 30 years plus in the service of the American way of life. And when that way of life is threatened by evildoers, slide. Unlike some, he stepped up and served his country. You should like that, Calvin. You're pro-war. Isn't he a little old for the military? Slide. When this brave, honorable man is horribly wounded while saving the lives of his comrades, little Sammy Spleen Lover here decides he's too good to donate an organ. Oh no, slide. 
Okay, that's definitely from our wedding. You're a greedy, greedy man, Calvin. Carrie, please. I'd listen closely to your wife, Calvin. A man's marriage can't last long if his wife doesn't respect him. Wait, what are you asking me for? The old guy needs a spleen or something? He doesn't just need a spleen. Slide. The Treasury Department has scientists working round the clock comparing DNA samples gathered from loose change dropped in seat cushions around the country. Slide. And you, Calvin, are a perfect match for our hero. Your spleen's the only thing that can save him. Lights! So what's it gonna be, Calvin? Are you a murderer? This, this is absurd, isn't it? Seat cushions? I think organ donation's really noble. But the government? What right does the government have to tell me what I should do with my own body? <laughs> We're not telling you, Cal. We're asking you. I'm bending knee. Your country needs you. Redeem yourself. Give up your spleen. Save a life. You said something about brunch? Well, it's been really nice meeting you guys, but, uh... Well, we'll think about it. So... So do you want to meet Mr. Chantrell? We don't usually, but in this case, yeah, I think you're ready. Vendors! Brownie Sunday. King of desserts. Yep. All right, let's do this. What? Calvin? You're a great American, Cal. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Vendors, toot the horn! <laughs> let's go get this, please! No, wait, what? Get the box, quick! You can ride with me to the hospital, ma'am. Vendors, he'll ride in the back. So you concerned about hard water? Well, you should be. 